Um, we're all here today, I think, because we all care about change and we all care about green beauty and we're all um, in various stages of journeying um, to try and, I hope, to make the world a better place through um, being cleaner in the way that we look after ourselves. Um, I am, my name is Tabitha James Cryan, as you heard, and I've come over from the UK. Um, I have been an organic hairdresser now for over 20 years and this has been a really big journey for me. Um, I, I first started out um, in, a, in, a, in a, a world that looked very different to the world today in terms of our understanding of just you know how, how simple cosmetic products can impact on our bodies, how those simple cosmetic products can impact on the planet. Um, I, my journey was personal because um, it started for me when I was pregnant with my first child and my midwife told me that I should stop colouring my hair. And I was a slightly cocky young hairdresser at the time who thought that I knew better than she did. And I was horrified that she'd say that to me. And, and I can honestly say that it was the first moment that I'd ever actually realised that our skin was so permeable and that what I put on my body would actually enter into my body and that of my unborn child at that point. So it was that wake up moment. In the hairdressing industry, we're taught how to protect the hair, we're taught how to not burn the skin, the scalp. We're not really, nothing ever, even in, certainly in the UK, even now, it's, they still don't talk about the, how much would go inside the body and the, the products that you're using. So when I found that out, it changed everything. It was like a light bulb moment that I couldn't turn back from. And I had a salon, my own salon at the time. I was 20, um, sorry, I was in my late 20s. and. Um, I, um, I decided that I should change everything about the way I was working. So I completely transformed um, the way that the salon was functioning at that moment. I, um, I, I looked to see how I could work with this fabric that is hair and how I could sort of improve things without using chemical ingredients, without using things that would be toxic to the body. And my initial, um, my initial way of working was very much about how can I, how can I actually change how this affects the, you know, the people in my chair, the people that were coming to my salon. So we looked differently, and I'm, the, what, the first thing I started to realize is actually one of the very most important products that really needs to be changed is actually the simple thing of shampoo, because this is one of those things that, one of those products that we use most of. It's just like something like a body wash that we use daily. A lot of people are stuck in the habit of having to use a shampoo daily as well. So my statement here, how something as simple as changing our hair care routine can have a huge positive impact on reducing pollution for us and for the planet. The very first step is to change your shampoo. The last dirty secret. I feel like for a lot of people who are living a very clean and green life, um, their hair is the bit they often get stuck with and it's the hardest thing to get right because as um, my lovely, my inter lovely uh, host there was saying that, you know, still using natural things, but still finding their hair was greasy, still getting stuck in, in the same problems. Um, it's difficult to get hair care right. It's not an easy, because traditionally, the way we've washed hair traditionally, it always involves using a detergent, using something that takes away all of the oil. Shampoo, by its very nature, is a degreasant. Its job is to remove oil, to remove all traces of oil, in fact. That's the, pur the purpose of a traditional shampoo. But for me, that's really where the problem starts, because if you take all the oil away from the hair, you end up with a fabric that's really not happy, because it's been stripped of all its life. It's been stripped of its natural protection. I'd say to you, well, just look at your own hand. Look, look at the skin on your hand, and you see there's a sheen on your skin. And that's your acid mantle, that's the protective layer that's supposed to be there. If you've been washing dishes or cleaning at home, you can often feel the tightness in your skin where it's gone. But we don't realise that's what's going on with our hair. For our hair, it should also have that protective layer. But it's very fine. When you feel that, it doesn't feel like grease. You don't, you'd have to really keep your hand there for a while and really press hard before you can start to move that very fine layer of oil and realise that it is actually an oil sitting on the skin. So we should be putting back something that's really, really fine and delicate. And that's why in past centuries, our grandmothers and, and great-grandmothers would have brushed their hair. You know, 100 strokes a day, we've all heard their stories. And the whole principle of that sort of hair care routine was really about um, when their hair wasn't oily, because it wasn't when they weren't overwashing. It wasn't greasy like we know it today. It was just healthy oil, and that would be good to brush and work through the hair. Different way of thinking.
three days, or imagine if they washed it every three days, or four days, or once a week instead of every day. Imagine the impact that that would have on the planet. Imagine the change. And the good news is, I can stand here and say this as an organic hairdresser, as I call myself a hair geek, I would class myself as a hair expert. I know that it's better for your hair. There is no compromise. You can have just as much fun, you can have just as much joy and, and enjoyment with your hair, you can style it and do everything you want to do just as much without adding to this problem. And that's what I'm here to do really is to sort of highlight the fact that we can easily make change by making some small changes with our practices. It's not that hard. And when we do, we make a huge difference to the planet. And the more we do it, the more we tell future, you know, we tell our children to do it, we start training our children to do it differently, the more we make real change. And I think there's no time to waste. We've got 10 years, right? We've got 10 years to make a real difference. And I would, in, I would ask all of you, if you're not already doing it, please start today. It, this is not hard. It's just about rethinking the, the, the actual products that you're using.